friends, welcome to the world of Dina Safari. I'm wearing a corset, yay! This is my first day wearing it. I'm seasoning my corset, which means I'm basically just putting it on. I'm not tightening it like as far as it can go or whatever. I'm just, it's basically just kind of hugging my body like a glove right now. The back. So the modesty panel almost closes. Like it's not uncomfortable at all. It's kind of awesome. The reason I'm wearing this obviously is I'm excited for one. But the second reason that I'm wearing this is because of the book that I'm talking about, The Corset Diaries by Katie McAllister. The character's name is Tessa and she has lots of embarrassing things happen. She's a 39 year old widow and she's overweight. She gets cast on this show. Everybody on the cast dresses up like they're in Victorian England for the show and they have to live for a month like they're in Victorian time. But obviously she's wearing corsets every day and um, it's so funny because you know she's talking about how fat she is and all this kind of stuff. She has a really major self-esteem slash insecurity issue. She kind of harped on her body image issues a lot. Uh, which was realistic, but also kind of aggravating after a while. You're tired of hearing her say she's fat. Don't pick me up. You're I'm too fat. I'll break your back. Okay, enough. Max is the, he's like in his mid thirties. He's got a daughter who's like 10. So he's divorced. He's got a daughter who's also on the show with them. She's very rude and just unhappy. So Tessa's obviously attracted to Max. That's the love interest. She kind of like jumped into bed with him pretty fast, considering she doesn't even know him. <laughs> I know it's a romance novel. That kind of bothered me a little bit as a reader. It was hard for me to get on board with that when she had so many insecurity issues, but then she's going to jump into bed with this guy that she doesn't even know. It just seemed odd. She did talk a lot. She was kind of aggravating. That was actually a really good character trait that was brought out by the author. It was really well written. I feel like in the middle of the book, she couldn't think of something else to happen. So she just had them having sex a lot. It's not graphic sex. So it's not like erotica. It's not. This one... I give it four stars. I found it really interesting to kind of live in the Victorian times, like to kind of be immersed in that world with them and see what it was like, like what their days were like and what they had to do and their roles and duties and stuff and how people interacted. The only negative thing I can say about this at all is the fact that their relationship was almost not really believable because she was so, she was kind of pushy with his daughter, like trying to make decisions for him and stuff and like going against his parenting. But she was a very likable character generally. I mean, she did have a couple flaws, but obviously, that's what makes a character realistic. If you're looking for something that's funny, um, easy, you like the romance novel, or you like historical, those kinds of things. The Corset Diaries by Katie McAllister. Catch you next time.